Well, let's see how to create a chart from the totals of a spreadsheet in Excel. I'll give you fair warning, this is a longer video because there's so much to show. So let's see. First, you need to decide what data you want to show, what kind of information you want to show. And then you'll select the cells that include that using the click control click technique, which I'll show you. You don't choose the title and subtitle to put in a chart ever. You're going to add those later. You'll choose either totals, could be row totals or column totals, but one set of totals, or interior cells, but not both. So you select the cells and then you go to insert chart, it inserts the chart, choose the kind of chart, no. Then it sticks it right smack in front of your spreadsheet, inevitably. So we'll click it and either drag it to a new location or you can put it on a new worksheet. And then you can use some formatting commands if you would like. Let's see how that works. Here I have a spreadsheet that we had worked with before. And the first chart we want to make is create a column chart showing the total sales for each city. And the way I'm going to do that is I'll start by selecting the figuring out which data I need. I want totals. Here's the cities. And here are the totals for the cities. Since I have a word total here, I need to select this cell as well. I'm going to click and drag to select this row, but not that word total. I don't want that. Now, with my left hand, my left index finger, I'm going to press down and hold the control key. And then I'll click and drag across the bottom row, the totals. Notice that I'm not a good mouse driver. And release both buttons. Notice that the first cell of the last row, in this case, that I select doesn't turn gray or blue or whatever color you have. Notice that? Drive you crazy. So we'll go up to Insert and Charts. Um, this one set a column chart. For these kinds of charts, you can choose either that first one in the 2D set, simple, or the first one in the 3D set. Doesn't matter. They're the same, but just choose the first one. And click. All right. Now what we're going to do is move it out of the way. There is a double bar border around the chart. Can you see it? So we'll put the mouse up in the edge, get the four-headed arrow, click and drag, I don't know, down, down below. If you wanted to, look up here at the top. Now, let me go to the top. You see this chart tools? There's design and format. On the right-hand side, it says move chart location. You could put it on a new page. So we're not doing that. So here we have our chart made. And what we're going to do now is um, you could, if you wanted to uh, resize it, you know, you could do that. Go to the corner, click and drag. Sometimes they don't resize really well, but something like that. And let me go up to the title and write in a title. This is going to be total sales by city, isn't it? Total sales by city. And the city names are down at the bottom. If I wanted to, I could go up to Chart Styles. I could click the More button and choose any old format I liked. How's that? Okay. If I wanted to, I could change the chart colors. Not a lot of great choices there, but whatever. I could um, use one of my quick layouts. Let me let me click off the title just in the chart. You know, you have to be careful where you click because every place you click, you can do things. I want just the chart. Uh, go up to Quick Layout. And there are some other formats you could use to I don't know, put the numbers in there, put the legend. You know, not much of a legend there. Here, let's get that one. Get the legend in the bottom. 
you know, you'd have to do a little resizing. No, that's all just playing around stuff. That doesn't get the chart in. This is the chart. Okay? So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. When I deselect the chart, notice that it goes back just to a single line border. And then when I select the chart, I have the double line border. You see? Important to understand. When you want to copy this and move it somewhere else, in like into a Word document, you click the chart. And then with your mouse still up there in the edge, then you can copy and go over there and paste. Okay, I did the first one slowly. We'll try to go a little bit faster on the others. This one says to create a column chart showing the total sales for each food category. So it's still totals, but this will be for food categories. These are the food categories. And we want totals, and those would be over here on column G. I'm going to click and drag from A3 down to A7. Let my finger up. Press down and hold the control key. Click and drag from G3 down to G7. Let both fingers up. Insert, and what is it? Column chart. Insert, column chart. I do 3D again. They're prettier. We click and drag down. And you know, when you're doing this for me for homework, would you do just do me a favor and in the title put like number one and then in the title of this one put number two and this is total sales by food category. Okay. Um, if I reduce my resolution, my zoom a little bit, you'll be able to see more, but you can see that the chart shows up there. It's fine. I could resize it, I could restyle it, I could recolor it. I'm not doing any of those things. You're welcome to do that if you wish. Now, let's say create a bar chart. This one is sideways. Bar chart is sideways. Lots of times they're used for the same thing. Some are better than others, but at this stage of the game, don't worry too much. Co oops, sorry. Showing coffee bean sales by city. Okay, coffee bean Coffee bean sales by city would be these cells. Whoops, that's an interior chart. Okay, we won't do that one then. We'll skip it. Um, create a pie chart showing condiment sales by city. Oh, that's an interior. Create a pie chart showing the percentage of total sales for each food category and use quick layout. Quick layout one. Okay, pie chart. The thing about a pie chart is that it's showing you the percentage of a whole. So each each city or each food category gets its own little slot. Let's see a pie chart for food sales by care. Okay, so we're going to select the same cells again. Press down the control key and hold it. And this time we're going to go up and insert a pie chart. See up here? Pie chart. If you're using an older version, they, it's a little bit different on that ribbon, but not much. I'll get a pie chart. And slide that baby down. When you get down to the bottom of the screen like that, you go down and just kind of nudge it is the word I use. Nudge, nudge, nudge. That will get it down, down there. Stick it somewhere. I'm not telling you where to put them on the page, but try to make them easy to read if you could. All right, and then I had said to apply quick layout. This is quick layout. Apply quick layout number one. And what that did for me was show me the words inside and put a percentage. Instead of the numbers, I get a percentage. Just because I said so. I know, something different. This was number, what was it? Number five. Number five, total percentage, percentage of sales by food category. And you can do the same kind of fussing with it as with the others. We won't bother. And oh, I guess that's all of the totals there are for this chart. So you see how you get totals either across the top and the bottom or down one side and the other when you're doing totals. Now we'll do another video. We'll talk about using interior cells to make charts.